What's the difference between cold steam and warm steam? Suddenly, there's a burst of light surrounding the wings. The crowds watch in amazement. This isn't an engine malfunction, and the jet isn't about to explode. By slowing the footage down, this amazing vision becomes clear. As the plane approaches the speed of sound, it is momentarily engulfed by a blast of cloud. This is strange weather at its fastest. You need a lot of moisture in the air, and you also need a plane traveling really, really fast. As the plane's hurtling along and getting faster and faster, the air ahead of the wing is all becoming really compressed, but behind it is all stretching out, and that allows the pressure here to drop. That allows the air to expand, and as it expands, it cools. And that cooling allows the water vapor to condense, and that's why the cloud forms. It's the sudden change in pressure from high to low that creates this cloud formation. It's really the shock wave that's created by the wings that is going to create that conical vapor cloud. So somewhere aft of here, you know, if you drew a circle around this airplane, uh, including the wingspan, the big disc would be back here, and it may blank out the entire aft end of the airplane. It's just spectacular. I mean, it's a, it's a man-made phenomenon. There's nothing in nature. You never walk around and see a, a spontaneously induced shockwave cloud. So it seems that even a plane can trigger strange weather events. In the 1880s, Austrian physicist Ernst Mach was studying the supersonic flow of gases using a shadow graph when he successfully photographed a bullet traveling faster than the speed of sound. What his images showed was a bullet with a shockwave in front of it and another one trailing behind it, a clear proof of the phenomenon of compressibility. This research eventually led to the measurement that bears his name. A Mach number is the ratio of the speed of an object traveling through a gas to the speed of sound in that gas. Because while we don't think about it, air is made up of molecules. And like any other physical substance, those air molecules can compress. And when they compress, they form shock waves. All of them, you need a little bit of moisture inside. So it always starts with just a little bit of water. Okay, so a little bit of water. And then what you're trying to do is you want that to evaporate to some extent. So we're moving around inside. We're just we a little bit of moisture that's inside, right? And so we want some evaporation and then we want condensation. So the air that we're gonna push down inside is gonna add energy to this, right? It's gonna heat those molecules up, push more molecules inside. They're rubbing against each other, adding energy inside here. That helps the evaporation. And then when you release the pressure drastically, then that condensation is supposed to turn into a cloud. And the way that you're supposed to do that is with matches. All right, so the matches are here and you're supposed to now create um, some smoke. So here's, good. So this is burning nicely. And then we just want to introduce the smoke into the bottle. All right, here we go. So here's the smoke in the bottle. Doesn't have to have a lot. Good, all right? So that, I'm gonna put this on top so it just stays there for us. That is the setup. All right, 
So this part uh, is how we build up the pressure. We're using a hand pump, right, or a foot pump. We're using our hand to be able to pump it like this. And then if you ever need to take a look at this, this is kind of the secret. This is a valve stem that I got from uh, an auto parts store. And I put it through a rubber stopper. So that is the secret. That rubber stopper had to be shaved down a little bit, but fits perfectly into the bottom. So when this goes here like this, it stays in place. Got it? It will easily pop off, but it stays in place. And now my glass is on. And now I'm gonna hold this down like this and pump. And so now here's what we're doing. We're adding air, right? We're increasing the pressure. There's more air that's going inside. Um, I'm gonna look at the gauge here and make sure that I'm not putting more than about 20, 25 pounds of pressure inside. You sometimes you can hear the bottle start to crinkle just a little tiny bit. All right, so that's more than enough pressure. So now watch what happens. Three, two, one, we release. And that is supposed to be the cloud the bottle. That is not at all what it looked like before, right? So while you do get a little bit of condensation there, it's just not drastic enough uh, and the effect isn't dramatic enough uh, that, uh, that it's exciting. So that's why we had to come up with a different variation. So this variation uses smoke and water. Remember, the new variation does not use smoke and it does not use water. And it's really, really important that we don't have matches or anything with this one because the secret to this one is rubbing alcohol. See, I chose 70% rubbing alcohol just because I knew that I could make that uh, evaporate fast. And I didn't worry about the condensation. I understand this part of the, the, uh, the premise here is that you've got particles in the air and the water condenses on those particles. And, and, and you can definitely use this as part of the demonstration. I just wanted this to go faster and look a little bit better. And so the secret is of that rubbing alcohol. So here's our 70% rubbing alcohol. You spin this around. Now you do the same thing as before, but no smoke at all. You don't want to get any matches, anything near this at all. So our valve stem goes up here. We're going to do the same as before. We're going to increase the pressure. And then, as soon as we release the pressure, those molecules are going to go from a high state of energy to a lower state of energy. Anything that's evaporated will condense, and that's where we're going to get the cloud. So watch how different the effect is here. So again, I'm gonna watch it carefully, make sure I'm not putting more than about 20 pounds of pressure in there. Oh, did you hear it? You can start to hear it kind of pushing out. All right, here we go. I think that's probably pretty good. Watch this. Three, two, one, bam, there's your cloud. Now watch, I'm gonna cap it back off again. So I've trapped the cloud in here, and now I'm gonna to add pressure really kind of simulates the burn off of fog in the morning. Watch this. As we increase that pressure, look, fog starts to disappear, cloud vanishes. Very cool. Look at this. So now we are back to the process again. Here we go. Three, two, one. Bam. And there's our cloud. 